Whenever I go to a musical show, I'm driven to utter distraction. For the actors today tend to act in a way that necessitates crowd interaction. Participatory theatrics, I find them a terrible strain. So when I take my seat, I always repeat this old familiar refrain. Don't make me sing along, oh no. Don't make me sing along. When you perform your song, do it on your own. Leave the audience alone. Keep the entertainment on the stage. Cause that's where it belongs Keep the house lights low I'm not in the show So don't make me sing along Everybody now Don't make me sing along Oh no Don't make me sing along That's great, Myra When you perform your song Do it on your own Leave the audience alone entertainment on the stage cause that's where it belongs keep the house lights low I'm not in the show so don't make me sing 50 more times here we go don't make me sing along just the men now don't make me sing along just the women now when you perform song everybody do it on Keep the entertainment on the stage Cause that's where it belongs Keep the house lights low I'm not in the show So don't make me sing along Thank you, Myra If I had a hammer I'd a hammer in the morning I'd hammer in the evening All over this land I'd hammer out danger I'd hammer out a warning I'd hammer out love Between my brothers and my sisters yeah. oh.
Now, my little joke was, of course, at the beginning, don't make me sing along, because I'm going to, but not all the time. I got some songs to sing for you today, and I'm also going to be talking about the author of that song, who was Pete Seeger, along with Lee Hayes. Pete died a few weeks ago, and uh, I ha I'll have some things to be saying about, about Pete a uh, little bit later on in the show, but I'm going to spot some of his songs through the show as well. So here's one you don't have to, you don't have to sing. This is one, this is one that, that I saw uh, on YouTube, Pete Seeger and Fred Hellerman, who was the, one of the other men in the, in the group. It was Pete Seeger, Lee Hayes, Fred Hellerman, and, uh, and, and Ronnie Gilbert. Uh, it was, it was <laughs> Pete and Fred, uh, at a certain age, trying to remember all the words to the song. <laughs> it was great. As I sat down one evening, it was in a small cafe, a 40-year-old waitress to me these words did say, she said, Well, I see that you are a logger, and not just a common bum Cause nobody but a logger Stirs his coffee with his thumb Well, my lover was a logger There's none like him today If you'd pour whiskey on it He'd eat a bale of hay and he'd never shave his whiskers from off of his horny hide. He'd just drive them in with a hammer and bite them off inside. <laughs> well, my lover came to see me. Twas on a freezing day. He held me in a fond embrace that broke three vertebrae. Well, he kissed me when we parted, so hard that he broke my jaw. I could not speak to tell him he forgot his Mackinac. In case you don't know what a Mackinac is, it's a heavy winter coat. And I'm going to stop doing this now. <laughs> Well, I saw my lover leaving, sauntering through the snow, strolling gaily homeward at 48 below. Well, the weather, it tried to freeze him. It tried its level best. At 100 degrees below zero, he buttoned up his vest and it froze clear down to China it froze to the stars above at a thousand degrees below zero it froze my logger love well they tried in vain to thaw him so would you believe me sir they made him into axe blades to chop the Douglas fir, and so I lost my lover, and to this cafe I've come, and here I wait for someone to stir his coffee with his Okay, and I actually remembered all the words. <laughs> uh, I, um, last year I spoke about a good friend and teacher of mine of the same generation of Pete Seegers, my, my father's generation, basically. And I worked with him, Alan Mills, for a long time. And here's a song that he taught me. This is a song from Newfoundland. And if it's from Newfoundland, it has to do with the ocean, it has to do with water, it has to do with, it has to do with fishing and sealing and... Um, and um, 
And this is called Jack Was Every Inch a Sailor. And I'm going to teach a, the chorus of it. And it's really easy to learn it because I'm going to sing each line. And then you sing the same thing right after me. And then we'll put it together. It goes like this. Jack was every inch a sailor. Try that. Jack was every inch a sailor. Five and twenty years a whaler. Five and twenty years a whaler. Jack, Jack was every inch a sailor. He was born upon the bright blue sea. He was born upon the bright blue sea. Okay, let's put it all together. It goes like this. Jack was every inch a sailor, five and twenty years a whaler. Jack was every inch a sailor, he was born upon the bright blue sea. Now it is twenty-five or thirty years since Jack first saw the light. He came into this world of woe one dark and stormy night. He was born on board his father's ship as she was a lion too. About twenty-five or thirty miles southeast of Bacaloo. Oh, Jack was every inch a sailor, five and twenty years a whaler. Jack was every inch a sailor. He was born upon the bright blue sea. Now when Jack grew up to be a man, he went to Labrador. He fished at Indian Harbor where his father fished before. On his return and in a fog, he met a heavy gale. And Jack was swept into the sea and swallowed by a whale. Oh, Jack was every inch a sailor. Five and twenty years a whaler. Jack was every inch a sailor. He was born upon the bright blue sea. Now that whale went straight for Baffin Bay about ninety knots an hour. And every time he'd blow a spray, he'd send it in a shower. Oh, now said Jack unto himself, I must see what he's about. So he grabbed that whale all by the tail and turned him inside out. Oh, Jack was every inch a sailor, five and twenty years away. Take it. He was born upon the bright blue sea. That's true. <laughs> so it's a, it's kind of when I put it together, it shows sort of by association. Like the frozen logger was a tall tale. So I thought, well, let's do another tall tale, and that was a tall tale from Newfoundland. And and here's another one. This is this is one from England actually, and this is also nautical. Uh, if anybody knows the south coast of England, you know that off the sh coast near uh, Portsmouth are the Eddystone Rocks. And they're very, very dangerous. They've been there for many, many years. There have been many warnings put up lighthouses. I think they may be on their fourth or fifth one by now. It used to be that the lighthouse keeper charged a penny a ton to guide you in through the, through the, um, through the rocks into the harbor. And uh, so this is, um, is also a song that the Weavers sang uh, uh, with uh, Pete Seeger. And uh, it goes like this. My father was the keeper of the Eddystone light and he slept with a mermaid one fine night. Out of this union there came three, a porpoise and a porgy and the other was me. Yo ho ho, the wind blows free. Oh, for the life on the roll and see. And that's your part. Yo ho ho, the wind blows free. Oh, for the life on the roll and see. One night as I was tripping
trim another glim, singing a verse from the evening hymn. A voice from the starboard shouted, Ahoy! And there was me mother a sitting on a boy. A buoy, actually. <laughs> e -o -ho -ho. on the road and see. Well, what has become of my children three? My mother, then she asked of me. One was exhibited as a talking fish, and the other was served on a chafing dish. Take it. Yo, the wind blows free. Oh, for the life on the road. While the phosphorus flashed in her seaweed hair, I looked again, me mother wasn't there. Then a voice came echoing out of the night. To devil with the keeper of the Eddie Stone light. Yo ho ho, the wind blows free. Oh, for the life on the road. You'll recognize the tune of this next song. It's the tune of, of um, uh, Dixie. But you, you won't recognize the context. And I'm going to try something with you. Uh, I sang this on a recording with a young girl. I think she was uh, maybe about 10 at the time. And she, she had never heard the song before. But I chose her for a couple of reasons to do it with me. Number one is because she was a very bright young girl, very musical, and also her name happened to be uh, Sarah, and the main character in this song is also named Sarah. So uh, I said to her, I said, Sarah, no matter what you might think, uh, this song is not about you. So I'm just going to sing it for you, and then I'm going to tell you what your part in it is. In San Francisco Bay, there lives a whale. She eats pork chops by the pail, by the pillbox, by the suitcase, by the bathtub, by the schooner. Her name is Sarah, and she's a peach. But you can't leave food within her reach, nor nursemaids, nor Airedales, nor chocolate ice cream sodas. She eats a lot, and when she smiles, you can see her teeth for miles and miles. And her adenoids, and her spare ribs, and other things too fierce to mention. So what can you do in a case like that? What can you do but sit on your hat or your toothbrush or your grandmother or anything else that's helpless? Okay, that's the whole song. So you've heard it. Now I'm going to sing it again. I'm going to leave some words out and you're going to fill them in. Okay, I didn't warn you about that, but you're going to be able to do it. You're going to be, you'll be just fine. As it said in the ad, in the poster, you'll be fine. <laughs> I told them to say that. You will. You'll be fine. In San Francisco Bay, there lives a... See? She eats pork chops by the... By the pillbox, by the suitcase, by the bathtub, by the... Yes. Her name is Sarah. And she's a fish. But you can't leave food within her. Fish. Nor nursemaids, nor. Airedales. Yeah, <laughs> Airedales. <laughs> nor chocolate ice cream. She eats a lot, and when she. 
You can see her for miles and miles. and her <laughs> and her what? And her adenoids, adenoids, and her spare ribs, and other things too fierce to mention. <laughs> what can you do in a case like that? What can you do but sit on your or your toothbrush or your or anything else that's Sing the whole song with me. In San Francisco Bay there lives a whale. She eats pork chops by the pail, by the pillbox, by the suitcase, by the bathtub, by the schooner. Her name is Sarah and she's a peach. But you can't leave food within her reach. Okay, got the list now? Nor nursemaids, nor Airedales, nor chocolate. She eats a lot, eats a lot, and when she smiles, you can see her for miles and miles, and her eyes, and her spirit, and other things too fierce to mention. What can you do in a case like that? What can you do but sit on your hat? Or your brush? Or your Or anything else? Well done. Very nicely done. I've done that with with children so many times and I thought that tonight would be the night <laughs> to do it with grown-ups and it worked out great. So there's a, um, there's a, uh, a West Coast uh, folk singer and songwriter, his name is uh, Larry Hanks. He's done a lot of lovely songs and, and this I think probably is his best one. He had a little spell working as they do in uh, in Washington State, uh, picking apples. It's water. <laughs> <laughs> sure. And um, this is this is his song called "The Apple Picker's Reel," and the song goes like this. You know what? Here I go. They guitars go out of tune. They do, and the only thing to do about it is to tune it. Because if I don't, it makes me crazy. And it makes some of you crazy too. And it's worth the, it's worth the wait. I love these things. And this is the Apple Peckers Reel by Larry Hanks from the state of Washington. And the chorus uh, goes like this. Hey ho, makes you feel so fine Looking out across the orchard in the bright sunshine Hey ho, makes you feel so free Standing at the top of an apple tree Hey ho, makes you feel so fine Looking out across the orchard in the bright sunshine Hey ho, makes you feel so free Standing at the top of an apple tree Try it with me. Hey ho, makes you feel so fine looking out across the orchard in the bright sunshine. Hey ho, makes you feel so free standing at the top of an apple tree. Hey ho, makes you feel so fine looking out across the orchard in the bright sunshine. Hey ho, makes you feel so free standing at the top of an apple tree. Okay, you're doing great. It's not an easy chorus, you're doing fine. Well, up in the morning before the sun, I don't get home until the day is done. My picking sack is heavy and my back is sore, but I'll be back tomorrow to pick some more. Hey ho, makes you feel so fine, looking out across the orchard in the bright sunshine. Hey ho, makes you feel so free, standing at the top of an apple tree. 
Well, you start at the bottom and you pick them from the ground And you pick that tree clean all the way around Set up your ladder and you climb up high Looking through the leaves at the clear blue sky Hey ho, it feels so fine Looking out across the orchard in the bright sunshine Hey ho, makes you feel so free Standing at the top of an apple tree Three-legged ladder, wobbly as hell Reaching for an apple, whoops, almost fell Twenty-pound sack hanging around my neck But there's two more apples I can't quite get. Hey ho, makes you feel so fine. Looking out across the orchard in the bright sunshine. Hey ho, makes you feel so free. Standing at the top of an apple tree. Well, they come in green and yellow and red. You can eat them in the morning or before you go to bed. Play catch, throw them way up high. Whoops, squash, apple pie. Hey ho, makes you feel so fine. Looking out across the orchard in the bright sunshine. Hey ho, makes you feel so free. Standing at the top of an apple tree. Hey ho, makes you lose your mind if you sing this song about a thousand times. Hey ho, makes you lose your mind if you sing this song about a thousand times. Hey ho, makes you lose your mind if you sing this song about a thousand times. Hey ho, makes you lose your mind if you sing this song about a thousand times. Hey ho, makes you feel so free. Stand on top of an apple tree. Hey ho, makes you feel so fine. Looking out across the orchard in the bright sunshine. Hey ho, makes you feel so free. Stand on the top of an apple tree. how many times I could pull that on you. <laughs> it's funny, I've sung that song years ago. It never occurred to me to, to do that. But here's, a, well, that was a, about a trade. Here's about a trade. This is a song that was written by Merle Travis. Merle Travis was from Kentucky. He wrote a lot of country music. He wrote a lot about um, uh, coal mining. Harlan County, Kentucky, I think it was. And he had a couple of really well-known songs. One of them was covered uh, by the Weavers, but the one that w was best known was one that was sung by Tennessee Ernie Ford. And I think some of you will have guessed what this song is. Some folks say a man is made out of mud. A poor man's made out of muscle and blood. Muscle and blood and skin and bone. A mind that's weak and a back that's strong. You load 16 times. And what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. I don't have to teach you that course, do I? I was born one morning when the sun didn't shine. I picked up my shovel, I walked to the mine. I load 16 tons, a number nine coal, and the straw boss said, Well, damn your soul, you load 16 tons. Why you Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I hold my soul to the company store. I was born one morning, it was drizzling rain. Fighting and trouble are my middle name. I was raised in the cane break by an old mama lion cane. No high tone woman make me walk the line. Yellow to 16. What do you get? Another day older and deeper in St. Peter, don't you call me Cause I can't go I owe my soul to the company If you see me coming, better step aside A lot of men didn't A lot of men one fist of iron, the other is steel. If the right one don't get you, then the left one will. You load 16 tons. What do you get? Another day over at St. 
Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. That's the part. That's the part that Tennessee Ernie F Ford's band put between each verse. That's called a hook. I just wanted to play it once. Well, I just played it again. Oh. <laughs> there's a there's a, a parable that that uh, Jesus is reported to have uh, told in the book of Luke. And it's the story of the, the rich man and the poor man. Now, the rich man was called Dives, and the poor man was called Lazarus. And basically, the story is the poor man, Lazarus, shows up at the rich man's house during a party and asks for something to eat. And the, the, the rich man shoos him away and says, I've got nothing for you. Get out of here. And uh, they both die, and the, the, the poor man goes to heaven, and the, and the rich man doesn't. Now, that song, that story has been sung in a number of versions, different eras. And I'm going to do three of them. Um, and the first one I actually learned from Alan Mills. I'm not going to sing the whole song, each one. I'm just going to sing a sample of each to show you how the same story can be sung uh, in three completely different styles from basically different centuries, I think. As it fell out upon one night, rich Dives made a feast, and he invited all his friends and gentry of the best. Then Lazarus came and laid him down, down at Divey's door. Some meat, some drink, brother Divey, rest bestow upon the poor. Thou art none of mine, brother Lazarus, come begging at my door. No meat nor drink will I give thee, nor bestow upon the poor. So some college students, maybe summer camp, put it together this way. Oh, there was a rich man and he lived in Jerusalem. Glory, hallelujah, old Roger Rum. Now what, some people sing it, high Roger Rum. I learned it, old Roger Rum. Well, he wore a bowler hat and his clothes were very spruce Glory, hallelujah, old Roger Rum. Old Roger Rum, old Roger Rum. Well, he lived in Jerusalem and drank all the juice alum. Glory, hallelujah, old Roger Rum. Now, to his door there came a human requiem. Glory, hallelujah, old Roger Rum. He had no hat, just a rag around his neck. Glory, hallelujah, old Roger Rum, old Roger Rum. Old Roger Rum, well, he lived in Jerusalem and drank all the juice alum. Glory, hallelujah, old Roger Rum. Okay, so that's another version. And here's, here's a gospel version of it. Same story, totally different musical style. The Weavers sang this. I got a home in that rock. Don't you see, and you echo me, don't you see? I got a home in that rock, don't you see? Don't you see? Nice. Between the earth and sky, thought I heard my Savior cry. You'd better get a home in that rock, don't you see? Don't you see? Poor man Lazarus, poor as I, don't you see? Don't you see? Poor man Lazarus, poor as I, don't you see? Don't you see? Poor man Lazarus, poor as I, when he died, he had a home on high. 
He had a home in that rock, don't you see? You'd better get a home in that rock, don't you see? You'd better get a home in that rock, don't you see? Don't you see? Between the earth and sky, thought I heard my savior cry. You better get a home in that rock, don't you see? Rich man died to live so well, don't you see? Rich man died to live so well, don't you see? Rich man died to live so well, when he died he had a home in hell. He had no home in that rock, don't you see? He had no home in that rock, don't you see? Between the earth and sky, thought I heard my savior cry, you better get a home in that rock, don't you see? God give no the rainbow sign, don't you see? God give no the rainbow sign, don't you see? God give no the rainbow sign, no more water but fire next time. You'd better get a home in that rock, don't you see? You'd better get a home in that rock, don't you see? Between the earth and sky, thought I heard my savior cry. You'd better get a home in that rock, don't you see? I didn't know if I was going to sing this one, but I think I will. This is another one by uh, uh, Merle Travis. It's also about um, coal mining uh, and talking about having a home in that rock. That's what this song is about. Come all you young fellas, so young and so fine. Seek not your fortune way down in the mine. It'll form as a habit, seep in your soul, till the stream of your blood runs as black as the coal. Where it's dark as a dungeon and damp as the dew, dangers are double, pleasures are few. Where the rain never falls and the sun never shines, it's dark as a dungeon way down in the mine. Some of you know this. You can sing that chorus with me. I'm not going to teach it to you, but it comes around a few times. There's many a miner I've known in my day Who's lived just to labor his whole life away Like a fiend with his dope or a drunkard his wine a man must have lust for the lure of the mine Where it's dark as a dungeon and damp as the dew Dangers are double, pleasures are few Where the rain never falls, the sun never shines It's dark as a dungeon way down in I die and the ages shall roll that my body will blacken and turn into coal then I'll look from the door of my heavenly home and I'll pity the miner a digging my bones where it's dark as a dungeon and damp as the dew dangers are double Pleasures are few Where the rain never falls And the sun never shines It's dark as a dungeon Way down in the mine Come all you young fellas So young and so fine Seek not your fortune Way down in the mine It'll form as a habit Seep in your soul 
Till the stream of your blood runs as black as the coal Where it's dark as a dungeon Dangers are double Where the rain never falls and the sun never shines It's dark as a dungeon way down Well, as they say, as they say in Monty Python land, <laughs> now for something completely different. <laughs> Any of you who have uh, learned to play the ukulele will have learned these chords. Usually it's, uh, no wait, uh, like that. Those chords have been used for like thousands of songs like uh, L-O-V-E, that spells love. L-O-V-E, heavens above. You wake up in the morning with a smile on your face. The reason for the smile was last night's embrace. That's it. That's why I feel this dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum da dum da dum like that, you know that. Well, a lot of people have used that same chord sequence, and uh, Fats Waller did. No one to talk with, all by myself. No one to walk with, but I'm happy on the shelf. Ain't misbehaving, I'm saving my love for you. I know for certain, the one I love. I'm through with flirting, it's just you I'm thinking of. Ain't misbehaving, I'm saving my love for you. Like Jack Horner in his corner. Don't go nowhere, what do I care? Your kisses are worth waiting for. Believe me, I don't stay out late, don't care to go. I'm home about eight, just me and my radio. Ain't misbehaving, I'm saving my the whole song it's way too short so so the thing is you have to you have to sing it again <laughs> otherwise it's over too soon and I know that a lot of you know this song so you'd sing it with me wouldn't you no one to talk with all by myself here we go no one to talk with all by myself no one to walk with, but I'm happy on the shelf. Hey, misbehaving, I'm saving my love for you. And you, and you, and you. I know for certain the one I love. I'm through with flirting, it's just you I'm thinking of. Hey, misbehaving, I'm saving my love for you. Like Jack Horner in his corner, don't go nowhere. What do I care? Your kisses are worth waiting for. Believe me, I don't stay out late. Don't get to go. I'm home about eight, just me and my radio. Hey, Miss B. I'm saving my love for you. Hey, Liz, behaving, and I'm saving all my love for you. Hey, Liz, behaving, saving my love for you.
Now that's a jazz song, and what you just heard is a folkies version of a jazz song because they use a whole lot of different chord changes that I don't know anything about. <laughs> but I like it that way. Here's, here's, here's something else jazzy. This comes out of the blues end of things. As you'll hear. Troubled in mind and I'm blue but I won't be blue always. Sun's gonna shine in my back door someday. Now that's the first verse. It's also the chorus. And it goes troubled in mind and I'm blue but I won't be blue Always. Sun's gonna shine in my back door someday. I'm gonna hang my head on some lonesome railroad line. Let that 219. Satisfy my mind Troubled in mind And I'm blue But I won't be blue always Sun's gonna shine In my back door someday I'm going down to the river gonna take my old rock and chair the blues don't get me gonna rock myself away from there trouble in my and I'm blue Shine in my back door someday. Sun gonna shine in my back door someday. Okay, one more, and then we're going to take a break. One more, well, why don't I take a drink? It's water. <laughs> I learned this song from the singing of Pete Seeger. He didn't write it. It was written by a woman named Laurie Ayers, and the, the, uh, the chorus is uh, bilingual. It's in, in uh, Spanish and in English. It says, Somos el barco, somos el mar. We are the boat. We are the sea. Yo navego en ti. I sail in you. You sail in me. Yo navego en ti. Tu navegas en mi. And the, the verses are just quite lovely. It's a very, very beautiful song. It means a lot to me. The stream sings it to the river. The river sings it to the sea, the sea sings it to the boat that carries you and me. Somos el barco, somos el mar, yo navego en ti, tú navegas en mí, we are the boat. Are the sea I sail in you you sail in me the boat we are sailing in was built by many hands the sea we are sailing on touches every Somos el barco, somos 
conocer más Yo navego en ti Tú navegas en mí We are the boat We are the sea I sail in you So with our hopes, we raise the sails to catch the wind once more. With our hearts, we chart the waters never sailed before. Somos el barro. Somos el mar. Yo navego en ti. Tu navego. And me, we are the boat. We are the sea. I sail in you. Thank you very much. We're going to take a 15-minute uh, break and back with more songs. And I'm going to do a tribute to Pete Seeger in the second half. Thank you very much, everybody.